Well, it's Friday, so that means we've got our positive stories in eastern Idaho of the people and places we all appreciate. We call it the bright side, and tonight we're going to start with a special piece of equipment for a local fire chief. The Chubbuck Professional Firefighters awarded Chief Miller his first leather helmet. It's in appreciation of respect of his 40 years of dedicated service to the city of Chubbuck. The helmet is the most recognizable piece of equipment in firefighting. It's a symbol of tradition, courage, integrity, honor, and pride. And speaking of firefighters, the Guns vs. Hoses charity softball game was a huge success. Last week, the Bonneville County Sheriff's Office and the Idaho Falls Firefighters Association faced off to earn money for Make-A-Wish Idaho, and they were able to raise a total of $14,000. Educators were recognized with awards at the 2023 Idaho Association of School Administrators Conference. That includes the Thunder Ridge High School Assistant Principal Trent DeBell, he received the Outstanding Secondary Assistant Principal Award for his support of students. Another employee from Port Nuff Medical Center has received the WIN Award. Taylor Broussard was nominated by Chris Webb for Going Above and Beyond. Chris says Taylor helped a patient whose dog was in the car. The patient was unwilling to go into the emergency room because she was worried about her dog. So Taylor went to the car, got the dog, and drove it to the patient's house. She made sure the dog had food and water, and when she came back to the hospital, she let the patient know that her dog was safe and sound, and she was able to get treatment. If you have an idea for the bright side, you can send us an email to newsroom at kpvi.com. We're interested in your positive stories about the people and places of eastern Idaho.